Give me an enchantment. Not a land. Not a land. Not a land. Come on. What's going on guys? If you want to support our content and pick up this month's amazing Patreon rewards, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves. If you're interested in custom playmats and sleeves, visit yourplaymat.com and use code itresolves10yp for 10% off your entire purchase. What is going on everybody and welcome back to another standard gameplay video. I hope you guys are doing exceptionally well today. We're going to talk about this deck in a second. Before we do, I just want to remind you, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. It would mean a lot to us. It would also be a great way to support us. It's also a great way to get your hands on some free cards. We have got a giveaway going on right now for Kamigawa Neon Dynasty for a full draft booster box. It's going to be given away on February 23rd, so please do check out all the details. There's a video on our homepage on YouTube as well as on our website, itresolvesmtg.com. There's an article there with the links and everything you can do to enter, so please do check that out. Let's talk about this deck. This is Abzan Enchantments, brought to us by Jim Davis, who is a, a fellow content creator. Absolutely fantastic individual, does tons and tons of stuff. Uh, fantastic full-time content creator. Go check him out. I'm going to link him down below. Uh, this was one of his top 10 or first 10 decks that he built with Kamigawa Neon Dynasty. Uh, and so I thought we'd try, it, we'd try and check it out today and have some fun with it. It's, uh, it's the Enchantments build. So this is one that I've been looking forward to kind of getting my hands on a little bit. And I really liked his starting point here. Uh, and so we're going to give this a shot. We'll talk through the deck a little bit. I haven't tried it yet. We're going to be uh, learning together. I'm just going to tell you now. I'm going to make mistakes, but we're going to have some fun. I'm actually going to go top down with this one because uh, some of the key cards are here at the top. We've got Hollowed Haunting, one of my all-time favorite cards that we've seen recently. I've played with it quite a bit. Uh, only a two of here, but definitely, definitely can get some work done here. Of course, spitting out those tokens, giving added value to every enchantment, which is, of course, the majority of the deck. We do have three Binding of the Old Gods. This is going to take care of permanence for us and then, of course, fetch out some forests. What's nice about this is he even teched out the lands a little bit. So we've got the ability to pull out these uh, snow lands, which are dual lands, but they also count as forests. So we can pull those out with that. Uh, in the three drop slot, we've got a couple new cards. One of the old cards is Katilda Dawnheart Martyr. Fantastic card, definitely an aggressive one, but uh, gives us a lot of longevity. That lifelink in particular is very crucial. And then, of course, we can throw it onto a creature later if we have to with that disturb cost. Uh, two of Gloom Shrieker here, a brand new card. 2-1 for 3 Menace. When it enters the battlefield, return target permanent card from your graveyard to your hand. And then if it would die, you exile it instead. What this allows us to do is devalue some of the removal on the opponent's side of the field. So we're able to bring back something crucial to us. Now, what that might be, we don't know yet. We'll see at the, uh, at the appropriate time, but definitely a powerful card. It also has Menace, uh, so it is going to be a bit tricky to actually block because they do have to have two creatures to do so. And what we would really love to do is attach this to the Gloom Shrieker uh, and enjoy the uh, the fruits of our labors with the Flying Lifelink, Protection from Vampires, plus X plus X, and Menace. Just seems really good. <laughs> uh, we do have Touch the Spirit Realm here, <clears throat> an enchantment for two and a white. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, Exile up to one target artifact or creature until it leaves the battlefield. So this is basically like a borrowed time, but a little more kind of narrow. However, it does have the channel mechanic, so you can discard it, pay two, exile target artifact or creature, return it to the battlefield under its owner's control at the beginning of the next incept. So what that allows us to do is kind of protect our own stuff, right? If we've got a uh, Katilda out or a Gloom Shrieker out that we really want to get that extra activation off with it, we can just exile it, bring it back, get the activation, and keep it safe. Uh, in the two-drop slot, one of my favorite new cards, uh, we've got the Naturalist, Jukai Na Naturalist, a two-mana 2-2 two -two with lifelink. Enchantment spells you cast cost one less to cast. That is massive. Uh, we do have the full four in here because that's just insane for this deck. Gonna cheapen up everything for us. We do have a one of Ranger class. Don't need to talk about that. We've seen this well and true uh, in mono green decks everywhere. Kind of an interesting include, but uh, I really actually like it quite a bit because, you know, we can start to kind of go crazy with that level three if we want to. Uh, Kami of Transients, 2-2 two, two for two with Trample. Whenever you cast an enchantment spell, put a 1-1 one, one counter on it. Uh, at the beginning of each end step, if an enchantment was put into the graveyard from the battlefield this turn, you can return this to, from your graveyard to your hand. So some built-in recursion here, as well as just a very powerful card. This is one that, again, long-term, it's great to have that Katilda for because you can 
attach that equipment there and really do some work. Uh, we've got Spirited Companion, just a basic little 1-1 uh, one, one for 2, but when it enters the battlefield, you can draw a card. And again, it works really well with the Touch of the Spirit Realm, just giving you a little bit of tech to be able to draw some cards. Uh, the Reign of Truth is here. Kind of an interesting one. Uh, a Saga, obviously, on 1 and 2. Uh, target creature gets 1-1, one, one, plus 1, plus 1 until the end of the turn for each artifact or enchantment you control. That alone is pretty powerful in this deck, of course. Uh, but on 3, you exile it and you get Portrait of Mi Micho Michiko. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Which gets plus 1, plus 1 for each artifact and or enchantment you control. So again, just a really big beater, really. Uh, and speaking of, we have Generous Visitor. This is going to ideally not just be the most adorable card you've ever seen but also get a bunch of counters on it throughout the game uh and then last but not least we've got commune with the spirits which is going to hopefully smooth out our draws a little bit as we need to got a lot of tech in the lands in terms of colors uh we do have the seat of the empire as the one of legendary land here uh we do not have the other two colors of legendary lands but i think that's okay this is kind of a removal spell on a land so that's pretty good uh, guys, I'm really excited to try this. Again, I've been wanting to deal with enchantments since we uh, had some of these cards spoiled. Uh, and Jim Davis, again, put this deck together. I really, really like this deck as a starting point, and that's why I chose to play this right now. I do actually have my own version, but I don't think it's very good. So we're going to go this route first. Uh, and Jim, thank you so much for sharing this list over on your YouTube channel. Guys, please go check him out. Link down below. Uh, but let's go ahead. Let's jump right in. Let's see how we do. All right, guys, here we are for game number one. And uh, yeah, this is pretty easy keep. We've already got the naturalist in hand, so that's going to hopefully cheapen up our spells. And we've got literally every color we could ask for. So pretty easy start. I think we'll just go ahead and leave lead on the glade here. We can jump out with the pathway land on white here. Wow, another naturalist. Uh, so what this allows us to do is a perfect turn three in which we can play the binding of the old gods on whatever permanent they happen to draw. Uh, or drop here. Oh, similar deck. Wow, look at that. <laughs> uh, well, with that in mind, we may not actually want to. We may want to uh, just kind of play some other stuff out here. But first things first, let's attack in. Pretty easy attack. There's really no reason not to. Um, now, what would we like to do? I think we go here for sure. Uh, and I think we'll just do this. Let's get some long term value out of this. Hopefully, we can. Uh, again, we've got the Binding of the Old Gods, and it looks like they might be on a different version here, and it looks like they definitely are with that red source. So this is going to be interesting. Uh, looks like enchantment versus enchantment, or maybe not. Maybe this is just in here to draw a card. I mean, that could very well be the case. I'm assuming a Doomscar incoming, perhaps, uh, but we'll see. Okay. Let's go ahead and throw this out. I think we do want to get the mana down right now. Um does have trample huh i'm a little suspect of that uh card over there that's why i'm a little hesitant here but i'm gonna throw out a naturalist let's see what happens we'll attack in here if they block they definitely have the uh doom card yep i'm expecting it that's fine uh i guess we could have waited on the naturalist but i wanted to get the counter you know what i mean uh on the uh the kami here so i think that's fine all right, uh, the nice thing is we do get that Kami back. <laughs> uh, so again, that recursion factor is just super, super helpful. Uh, let's drop this. And let's drop this. We get to rebuild pretty quickly here, honestly. Um, kind of a similar board to what we had previously. The only trick is, of course, they, uh, they probably have quite a bit of removal here. So we do have to consider that a little bit. Interesting. Okay. Let's drop this. Curious that they have Doomscar and Circle. Um, I mean, I think it kind of makes sense, but it's just kind of interesting. All right, let's get an attack in for four here. We are kind of, I mean, the damage is rolling in. That's all I can say. We can just blow this up also with the binding, but I'm not really looking to do that quite yet. We don't have to, you know what I mean? Sure, that's fine. Not really the biggest deal in the world. There's another Doom Scar if I had to guess. Um, I mean, I think we just go here. Yeah, that seems right. Um, so again, I think we're kind of in a waiting position. I'm not looking to uh, just kind of 
take over right away. So let's attack in with both here. If they want to double block on the naturalist, that's a bit of a tell, but I really doubt they will. Oh, maybe they do. Yeah, they do. Okay, cool. That's perfectly fine. Um, don't really care that much. Uh, you know what? I am going to throw the Katilda out here. If this dies, it's fine. You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't really matter that much. And I'm expecting it to die. So <laughs> I, mean, I expect that they have a Doom Scar here. Uh, we'll see. So far, this deck feels real good, though. Uh, the trick is we're kind of forcing them to play the Doom Scar now. And then this is going to flip on the uh, on this next turn here. Yep, there's the Doom Scar. So what we're going to be able to get is uh, this Katilda back if we want. It's going to come back flipped. Um, let's commune first. See what we can get. Uh, yeah, okay. I'll take that. It's not great, um, but I think that's fine. And then let's just binding and get rid of the uh, circle. It's not a, an amazing play by any means, but it is a play, and I think that that's pretty important for us because, again, we we really want to keep this pressure on. The Katilda next turn really threatens them, <clears throat> and uh, if they do play a creature, now we've got the touch of the Spirit Realm here to, to kind of deal with it. So, I, I don't know. We'll see. We're kind of struggling to get the last few point. I say few, the last half of the damage in here, but I have high hopes. Wedding announcement. Okay. Double wedding announcement. Okay. Very interesting. We'll get a land here. We can just get the snow land since we don't really... Didn't really matter. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. And what we'll do is put it on the portrait. Um, this has trample anyway. And this now can get in for quite a bit more damage. So I feel like that's worth it. We also are just going to gain that much. <laughs> um... So they can't kill this, and now they're down to one. We're at 37, so we just have to find a way to deal one point of damage here. I have hope. Um, we can't use this. We don't have enough mana. That's the only downside here. They are going to attack in. I assume they have another Doomscar then. Yep. Annoying, for sure. Um, and they get their creatures, but we actually just get our stuff back to you. Again, this Kami is real sick. <laughs> the fact that that's how that works is kind of insane to me. Um, I think I... Okay, so first things first. Let's play Kami. Let's play this. We're going to blow up one of their wedding announcements. Not really interested in having them bolster their board that much. You know what I mean? Um, and so I, I think it's worth it to do this. If they attack him with both, we get to kill one of them. If Util has three Doom Scars at this point, so I have to imagine the last one is somewhere still in the deck. I doubt it's in the top three. Might be wrong, of course, but there's Mana Form. That's a very good card, but again, we have got the uh, the Spirit Realm here, which should be able to deal with that. Oh, wow. Okay. They have their own. Yeah, that's cool. It's really good. Uh, it's not the end of the world for us, but it is really good. Yeah, dude. Super sick. Uh, we'll grab that land. This is going to be interesting. All right, so let's play this. Let's play this. And let's play this. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Let me read this. Uh, whenever you cast a non creature, the Rex is the amount of mana. Why would I not want to counter this? Right? I do, right? Am I misreading the card? Hold on. Oh, I'm going to see what happens. Did I miss something here? Oh, I put a counter on it. Oh my gosh. I thought I was targeting it with the touch. That was really stupid. <laughs> well, that was an oops moment. This, you put a 1-1 counter on target creature. I just thought it was on the generous visitor. I did not think that was hilarious. That was really, really funny. All right. Oh, that's fine. Um, I mean, we lost a counter for sure, and I would have definitely thrown it on the Kami because it has Trample, but I mean, that's cool. It is what it is. 
Speaking of it is what it is, guys, if you have not checked out the new series with Country Fried, holy crap, please check it out. It is hilariously fun. Uh, I lost the first game, which is really sad, but it was a blast, absolute blast. And he's such a fun content creator to work with. If you're not subscribed to him, please go subscribe to him. He puts out a crap load of content. All right, that's very unfortunate for us uh, because they can get the other comp. Oh no, they're gonna, no, okay. I was gonna say they can't hit the uh, the touch on our side. So that makes sense. All right. Cool. Uh, let's do this. Let's put it on the right thing. <laughs> uh, and it's gonna get a little boost, which I like. Um, I am gonna attack in. If they want to double block, it just means they've got no, they got nothing. And we have the inevitability of the, the creature coming down here. They do have cards in hand, whereas we don't, uh, which is kind of annoying. Um, but you know, it is what it is. Again, man lands would be kind of great right now. Ooh, okay, yes please. All right, let's get this. Let's return. We've got a lot of things I'd like to return, but I think it's binding because we have to get rid of this, I believe. Uh, the Sigarda Splendor is a long-term kill for us, so like we have to get rid of that. They're not now drawing extra cards. Um, so the inevitability of that is definitely a problem for us. I think that was the right call. We're not really gonna get anywhere with the binding after that though. I mean, it doesn't do that much now. Wow, seriously? Okay. They have so many of these. Um, <laughs> I mean, good on them. That's fine. Uh, the bright side is, obviously, we don't have a forest. We do get this going now. Um, which is a, a kill at some point. It's a slow, slow kill. Hopefully, they don't get another touch. All right. Ooh, cave is actually kind of sketch, though. Give me an enchantment. Not a land. Not a land, not a land. Come on. All right, so we definitely just attack in. Uh, they can't do anything about this. And I mean, we play land because there's really no reason not to. All right. Um, stop having the answer. This is a deck full of just removal upon removal. That's very annoying. All right. Yeah, dude, for sure. Get in. Stop drawing lands. What is this? We've drawn three lands in a row, and we've already deck thinned out all of our forests. Like, that's kind of insane. That shouldn't be the case. Granted, I know they're just drawing lands, but they have a man land, <laughs> so I don't really love that. They're gonna slowly take over this game, I think. Hmm. We can't hit anything with this. That's a slight problem. We literally can't hit anything with this because it's not instant speed and all of these are enchantments. I love and hate this at the same time. Uh, Exile's heart returns to the battlefield under its owner's control. Yeah, so it could save us a turn. Literally all it could do. I mean, we don't play it on this. We definitely play it on if they have a more permanent threat. Um, this feels so bad. Guys, this feels really, really bad. Also, this is a long game. We may only get two games in with this one just because of how long this one's going. This is so annoying. <laughs> um, yep. Go for it. What I'd love to do is like at the very end, if they have lethal, we use this on it, but we're not gonna do that yet. Oh my gosh. Guys. I hate this. I hate this so much. That is very annoying. Um, I mean, we can't do anything about it, but it's just like so frustrating. And they have the borrowed time now. Yeah, I'm, we're not doing this. I'm conceding. That got really annoying very, very quickly. Let's move on to a game two. All right, guys, let's jump into game two right now. Uh, this is a pretty decent hand. I think we definitely keep it. We don't we're not going to end up with a black source on the field, at least in with this initial hand, but we've got some really good options long term here, so I feel okay about it. Um, yeah, we'll see what happens. We also just have the companion that can draw us a card, so 
We got, uh, we got some stuff. Let's go ahead and play that generous visitor turn one. This should be able to gain some counters on it pretty quickly here, uh, which would be very helpful. And I'm curious to see what the opponent's going to be up on here. All right, let's do this. Definitely play the naturalist. Get the counter on the visitor and attack in. Um, with the black-white combo, I do expect that they've got the exile target mono vanishing verse. Couldn't think of the name. And so I do want to throw counters on the naturalist when I can versus the visitor, uh, depending on if either one actually survives. Chances are they're going to kill it here. Yeah. Uh, which is annoying. Not the end of the world. Okay. Um, I think we definitely go Spirited Companion just to draw a card. It's a land, great. And it is. Um, hmm. It's kind of tricky because we do have the Katilda. Oof. Uh, all right, first things first, let's attack him. I'm going to try and do the Disciplined Maneuver because if we get a Binding of the Old Gods, I want to be able to play it and I'm going this route. That might be incorrect, guys. I'll be honest. Um, however, I do really want to be able to play a Binding. If they've got a good permanent coming down at some point, which looks like they're Abzan, so they will. Wow, they just have a lot of uh, kill spells. All right, well, that kind of paid off for us because we just get this for free. <laughs> um, we'll attack in. I think we play Katilda here. Uh, we'll see if this won't stick. I can't imagine it will. Uh, and if they do have the Vanishing Verse, it's going to be really annoying because it gets exiled. Ah, okay. That's actually fine. So we can touch the Spirit Realm on the Brutal Cathar and get it out of there. Um, just to kind of blank their turn. They may not have a land this turn. Okay, no, they do. It's just an Evolving Wild. I'm kind of curious. I mean, this just looks like an Abzan, like, mid-range style deck, I guess. Uh, which is fine. It doesn't seem great. But, I mean, they're doing just fine. That's not really a... Alright, so we get this back. Let's go ahead and commune. Ooh, I love all of these. Um, Ranger class could be really sick. I think I'm going to take the Ranger class. That might be incorrect. I don't know, but we're going to go there. All right, so the reason I like this is because eventually we get to level three, which just allows us to play stuff from the top of our deck uh, because we've got a lot of enchantment creatures and a Katilda on the field. That seems like the long-term plan that makes the most sense to me. Um, maybe it's wrong. I don't know. What in the world? This is such a random assortment of cards. I mean, I get it. Like, this is a nice little two-for-one. Brutal Cathar is a nice little two-for-one, I suppose, but like, just a strange, strange deck going on right now. All right. Uh, so we can touch this if we'd like. Alternatively, we can just kind of go for the high value play, which I kind of like better. Let's just do... Oh, no, we can't do that. Pardon me. We cannot do that. Um, all right. Nope, oh, wrong. Let's do this. Easy four damage, we game four. And I think we actually just leave up the touch here anyway. Um, yeah, I don't have two green sources. <laughs> that was just kind of dumb on my part. Um, but I do still think this was the play because now we can leave this up. So if they do have a kill spell, we have a solution for it, if that makes sense. Yeah, dude, attack me, please. That's fine. I 100% just take this. I do not care at all uh, because we're just gaining a lot of life every turn, so it doesn't really matter. Yep, down to 19. Oh, let's not auto pass. Hold on. Let's make sure I'm in full control. If we don't have to use the uh, touch, we just get to draw a card here, so I want to make sure that we have that available to us. I'm assuming they have a kill spell, right? Like, they're kind of looking like they might. Ooh. Okay, so we just want to kill... What the heck? This is a random assortment of cards. I don't find this deck all that exciting. Um. All right, we'll pass. We'll draw a card. 
I don't know that this deck is good. <laughs> I'm a little confused by it. I'll just be honest. Um, all right, let's do this. Let's do this. Get a counter. Do this. And I think we just win. This can't block. They can block this, but they still take a lot. Can't block, bro. This is a weird deck. Really weird deck. This has trample, so it doesn't matter. All right, that was strange, but we did get a win. Uh, we're kind of coming up on time here, guys, so I'm going to have to stop it at two games, sadly, but let's go ahead. Let's chat about this. All right, so first and foremost, Jim Davis, thank you so much for sharing this deck list over on your channel. Again, guys, the link down below. Go check Jim out. Uh, fantastic channel. Truly fantastic. Much bigger than we are, but does a lot of really good content and is a phenomenal Magic player. So please, seriously, go, go hang out with him. But um, this deck is actually really fun. I think that first matchup was a bit of an anomaly where we were kind of in a mirror match and they had better removal. And what I mean by better removal is permanent removal and uh, like enchantment removal. They just had more options. They were able to doom scar a number of times, uh, whereas we cannot. They were able to uh, use things like borrow time as well as the touch, uh, touch the spirit realm to kind of deal with all of our creatures long term. They also just had a lot of other options that we did not have, uh, and that's okay. I think um, I think you're gonna run into matchups like that. However, granted that second match was like a bit of an odd deck that we were up against. I do think um, this deck has the legs to kind of go really, really aggressive and have that life gain aspect to it. And usually that's a pretty good combination and uh, we've seen that do well in the past. So I really enjoy this one. Truthfully, I think it's a great deck. Uh, Jim, I think you did a phenomenal job putting this one together. I do encourage you guys to check this out. I think you can certainly tweak it. I think there you don't have to go Abzam, but I do like the inclusion of some of the cards that we're able to get from that black uh, in particular. But I don't think you have to. I think you can go more just you know do it yourself and not worry about the removal aspect as much or just get white removal and not worry about you know the the binding of the old gods and the gloom shrieker um however i think those are good inclusions so all that to say i enjoyed this deck a lot this was a blast thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it leave a like leave a comment subscribe if you are not already it would mean a lot to us but until next time guys i'll see you later thank you so much for watching